So yesterday, the 22nd of July, was a celebration for some. There was a celebration, a party of sorts. The Democratic Party here in Wilmington, Delaware, celebrated Kamala Harris. I made a video a couple videos yesterday on the 22nd, letting everyone know, everyone that would watch, letting everyone that would watch know I couldn't endorse Kamala Harris. That has not changed. Can't endorse Kamala Harris. This morning, I went to a church and I talked to some folks at the church they did not put hands on me. We did talk. I pray every day. I pray everywhere I go. I, I pray every opportunity that I get. I want to talk about Coons, not the senator. The senator did run against Jessica Rand, who I talked about in my last video, coming to visit me at my home where I lived back when she ran against him. And I let her know back then that I couldn't endorse her because she didn't believe in God. And that, that's another conversation. But we talked about the power of prayer. We talked about Ilhan Omar praying five times a day. I don't know if she does, but that's one of the tenets. That's one of the pillars of Islam to pray five times a day. And I don't want to go off on too many tangents, but I want to talk about Coons, not the Delaware Senator, but black people of African ancestry who came here to America, your ancestors from the continent who came here to America, the ancestors of foundational black Americans, FBA. The term coons comes from barracoons. Barracoons were jails, not prisons. The difference between jail and prison is jail, you're waiting on a sentence. You're waiting to go to court. Prison, you've been sentenced to time and you're serving your time. So jail, you can usually bail out depending on the crime that you've supposedly committed, possibly committed. It's guilty until proven innocent. Prison, you've been found guilty and you have to serve your time. That's the difference. But barracoons, were jails of sort for innocent people, sometimes people convicted of crimes, but the verdict for our African ancestors to be found guilty of a crime, whatever it was, there, there's nothing that you did bad enough that would justify a life of slavery. But a barracoon was a jail that was set up, and I call it a jail because from the barracoon, the enslaved, now enslaved African had to go to a slave ship. This is a chain. Just like from chattel slavery, we got black codes and Jim Crow and war on drugs and mass incarceration. That's a chain. There's been a chain from this whole political infrastructure that we got to deal with when we 
think about society and a coon in our culture, black culture. Coon was somebody that laughed, joked, party, had fun, made fun of the situation, made light of the situation that they were now faced with, that they were now in, that they were now subjected to this prison or this jail waiting to go to this ship, maybe the ship that our ancestors were going to was a cruise line. Maybe it was a party. Maybe it was a fantastic experience that we were getting ready to be a part of, subjected to. Have you ever thought about a mouse in a trap nibbling on cheese that caught that mouse in that trap? Or a rat in a trap. So you're stuck. You're in the clutches of the enemy. And you're still enjoying the enemy's food. You don't always know your enemy. You don't always know who cares about you. A lot of great thinkers, a lot of great leaders talk about snakes I heard Malcolm X talking about snakes snakes and venom if you don't know what kind of snake it is you don't know that it's venomous you get away from it you don't try to fight the snake you don't try to hold the snake you don't try to touch the snake if you don't know what kind of snake it is you get away from it you don't party with it, you don't celebrate with it, you don't have a good time with the snake. We talk about parties. The Democratic Party. The Republican Party. I said yesterday, 1850 was the last time someone not of the Republican or the Democratic Party won a presidential election in these United States, these divided states. 1850, Millard Fillmore, a member of the Whig Party. 1850 was also the Fugitive Slave Act. Fugitive Slave Act. All of these people were deputized to bring back chattel property, police, modern day police. I want to lift up this woman who was recently killed by the police, by a police officer. She was shot in the head. When they came to her door, it was after she called them and they knocked really, really hard. They came as a threat, as a terror, and I'm sure that she was inside praying and she was thinking about what she had done, who she had called, and the pain that she might have to experience because she's seen these videos over and over again where she's heard this news of all these people being killed in their homes. She invited them into her house or the snake coaxed his way into her house. Sometimes the wolf is a fox and the fox is cunning. Somehow the officer got inside of her house. She said Jesus, I rebuke you. And she joked when she said that, Jesus, I rebuke you. And she went to get a pot of boiling water. When she said Jesus, he shot her in the head. 